Peripheral neuropathy is a painful condition which affects the extremities. It is a type of nerve pain or neuropathic pain where there's damage and or dysfunction to an element of the nervous system which leads to hypersensitivity. How does that translate? Well, patients will come along and generally speaking, the peripheral neuropathy will be in their feet, uh, feet and ankles, and patients will describe uh, nerve type pain. So they may have burning, sharp, lancinating, uh, really unpleasant types of pain, electric shock-like pains, that sort of thing. When you assess the patients, uh, we need to find out, is there an obvious cause for their peripheral neuropathy? The major things we're looking for in a patient's history are, are they diabetic, is one of the number one ones. And actually, sometimes diabetes presents with uh, peripheral neuropathy, so it needs to be excluded. Does the patient have a, a vitamin deficiency, a B12 deficiency, it's quite common. Are there any other causes for the neuropathy? Have they had trauma to the feet, surgery, that sort of thing? Um, or do they have vascular insufficiency is another significant cause. It's a very painful, unpleasant uh, complaint. And once we've assessed the patient, uh, we will uh, do a full history and examination. The history will consist of a pain questionnaire which we send out and we look at the characteristics of the pain, site, character, duration, radiation, aggravating, relieving, associated factors. We'll look at the previous treatments that the patient has had uh, and any investigations that they've had um, and then we can uh, assess uh, the condition as fully as possible. Now it's very important when patients have peripheral neuropathy to find out if there is an underlying cause to that as we've previously discussed. And that will usually require further investigations, usually blood tests or radiological investigations such as MRI scans uh, to find out is there an underlying cause because that needs to be tackled uh, first. Then we will move on to how do we actually improve uh, this patient's symptoms. When we're dealing with uh, peripheral neuropathy, as I mentioned before, it is a type of neuropathic pain or nerve pain. The mainstay of treatment for all types of neuropathic pain um, is medication. And the medications that we use are called anti-neuropathic medications. Uh, they all tend to have started off life treating other things. So we use anti-epileptics, we use antidepressants, we use anti-arrhythmic medications. And the general principle is to use small amounts of the medication to slowly escalate the dose and to balance uh, benefit in terms of pain relief with uh, any side effects that the patient may experience. Always, always uh, optimizing medication is the most important uh, treatment option. We do have other treatment options beyond that. Uh, for example, we can do pulsed radio frequency treatment, which I will speak about in another video. Uh, we also have advanced pain management treatments and we can offer spinal cord stimulation and dorsal root ganglion stimulation. Now these are advanced treatments and these are only suggested once all the uh, usual treatment options have been explored. The other thing that we do with patients with peripheral neuropathy, firstly we need to break the cycle of the pain, improve the pain and get the symptoms under control as much as possible. But we do need to rehabilitate the patient as well um, and that will be physical rehabilitation, usually under the care of one of our pain physiotherapists and that will in include uh, strengthening training, aerobic training but also for peripheral neuropathy, we teach desensitization exercises. Now these are external physical uh, treatments which the patient can do themselves on a daily basis uh, and they're there to try and retrain uh, the skin and to try and help reduce the overall uh, pain levels.